Hello guys again. So once in a while you might want to run into the uh, problem with soldering copper wire onto the stainless steel. Probably not very often but uh, I, I already lately probably need to solder or brace the wire to the stainless steel uh, uh, at least three or four times last couple of months and uh, it, it's been giving me a hard time and now especially when you have a well, thin wire like number uh, 12 maybe or even thinner number 14 number 16 and you want to use a thicker plate like this for example okay this is a uh, 1 8 uh, stainless steel plate and I already saw that this uh, before on these uh, and I want to change these plates that's for my humidity humidifier I guess humidity fire or humidifier for the furnace and that's actually my own creation which I want to put on a video sometime later too and I want to change these plates because uh, they don't produce enough steam so anyway this is already sorted as you can as you can see here and I just want to go briefly over that, uh, how it can be done. I, I've seen some videos that people will use some special uh, soldering paste or a special, actually, solder. <coughs> uh, or some, some kind of special, uh, special stuff to, to, to put this on, put this on stainless steel. But um, all you gotta do is pretty much clean the stainless steel really well the surface has to be fresh clean okay and I don't know why you, either you either you weld it or you solder it or you brace it I just find out that that surface on a stainless steel is gotta be like uh, freshly freshly cleaned like if, if you're gonna clean it today and do it tomorrow it I don't know I, I haven't tried it but it probably will not work so Anyway, let me get uh, this off, and I need this wire to put on these two new plates here, okay, that I just drill, and uh, they are just pretty much how they came from the factory. So, what I'm going to do, number one, and I should have had it ready, I'm going to just clean it. Obviously, you want to get, you want to get all the oil of these of these uh, plates and I've been using oil for the drill bit to drill this so all I need is just a little spot here oil fresh okay and then let me see how they go together they go like this just want to make sure Not like that. Let me see. Yeah, they, they will go like this. So, yeah. So let me let me do it like that. Let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna do this corner here. Just clean it from the oil and this corner here because I need them on the opposite corners. It doesn't matter for soldering, but it matters for, for my project. Okay. And now, I really want to clean the surface, and you can use a sandpaper. You can use a file. Um, what I've been using is this uh, knife grinder. If I turn the cover on, I can just pretty much uh, grind it clean. See the different 
between the clean surface and the old surface. I hope you can see that okay. So that will be one. Now this one is on this side. I hope that's going to be good enough. So, number one, I'm going to use some gloves. Number two, I'm going to get some beer. Okay. Let's take these Let's take these off Now this already is ready for the solder. So this is the challenge here. You have a pretty thick plate, right? And I want to use the soldering gun. Well, that's not going to exactly work without preheating the surface. Now, let's get this. Out of here. What you gotta do here, and you can use actually, I don't know if I mentioned that you can use uh, either plumbing uh, paste, soldering paste, or you can use uh, electronics soldering paste, which is for electronics, and I'm using just a regular electronics uh, uh, solder. which has the flux inside if you're interested I don't know but it really doesn't matter I can use any any solder okay so I'm gonna get some solder ready in my soldering gun here and get my soldering paste ready and now I just I have to preheat this just a little bit Okay, it doesn't matter bottom or top, bottom is probably better. Okay. That's probably definitely enough. Yep, you don't wanna you don't wanna heat it too much because it's gonna burn the flux. Okay, and now I can get the solder nicely on the plate. Nicely, attach it to the sock and into the plate.
wish I can stand, stand still. Okay, and those are copper, copper eyes. And now we got a hook, attach, to the stainless steel plate. Same thing I'm going to do on this one. Show you another one very fast. Okay, and uh, as I am doing this, I just thought of a, a little bit better, a better system here. So the second one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the flux first. Okay. I'm just going to apply the flux here. And now I'm going to heat up the bottom, not the top, because if you're going to hit the top, that will burn the flux right away. Now you've got to go at, at, on the bottom, okay? <laughs> You see the flux is boiling. Then you're gonna get your solder gun, soldering gun. I'm sorry, soldering gun. Yeah. And again, I'm not ready for. I think. And you're gonna start rubbing, or applying the solder. Okay, a little more solder here, please, and here we go. Yeah, the biggest challenge is to, st to stay still when this is cooling off. Okay. But we got it cool. I'll just clean the flux. And here, here is what we got. Pretty much. Uh, two wires uh, soldered on, I mean, it's, it's not a wires, but it could be wires if you wanted to. Soldered on the uh, plates. Okay, that's how it looks. And it holds pretty well. For, for my application, I mean, I, I, I don't want to pull on it because I'm going to pull the wire out of the hooks, but as I'm pulling, it, it holds well for what I needed to hold. So, good luck with that and cheers. The beer always tastes better when the job is successful. Is that right? Okay, good luck. <laughs>